what's up guys welcome to my channel nobody but naya thank you for tuning into this video be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like the video and follow me on all social media but let's just get right into the video so by the title you guys know that i'm studying abroad right now i'm studying abroad in Sevilla, spain so um last week last thursday night me and two of my roommates camille and brie we went out to we just went out um we tried this new club sorry they're doing construction it's like wow we tried this new club and it was actually very very fun they played like one american song but they still had like really good music and it was really fun we got into the section we got with these guys camille accidentally broke one of broke one of the hookahs off the table like accidentally pulled it and it broke so we were like after that we left that club the second club that we went to is a club that we go to all the time like it's nothing new but on the way to the second club camilla wanted to go home so we took the uber to the second club me deja and camilla me and deja got out the car to go to the second club and then camilla we i think we either changed the address to the uber once we got out of the car or we got a new uber and it happened to be that one so camilla went home after this me and deja went to this club so me and deja are waiting in the line talking to the locals da, 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 da. and when we get to the front we decide like never mind we're not trying to get in this club anymore so we go home we like make plans in our head like okay we gotta go home okay boom so i think we were gonna walk we were gonna walk but i think we took an uber instead so we say we're taking an uber then we see that we're passing at mcdonald's so we were like okay like let's go get some food because it was literally like three in the morning and it's like why not like back home that's what we do like we go get food and that's not really a thing here so when we saw it, we were like oh they're open like let's go get food go to mcdonald's get food everything's cool but we were probably there like 45 minutes we eat our food or whatever start walking home because it's really not that far honestly everywhere everybody here usually walks takes the metro um takes a bike or they take a scooter so we started walking home but then we were like okay let's bird home it'll be faster like it'll be fun whatever I actually found a bird but when we tried to connect it to her phone it said that the bird was damaged so we couldn't use it so we put it back and then we saw another one across the street so we go across the street and we get this bird so now a bird for you guys that don't know is like a motorized scooter i'll put a picture right here it's like a motorized scooter and like i'll look up how fast it goes but like it's basically it's literally just a motorized scooter you press this to go fast and then you press this to stop and it's literally that so we find another bird and usually me and deja have ridden one bird together both of us at the same time like to class and stuff because we have a few classes together so like we'll get on a bird together like easily and just go to class on the bird and then at first deja was driving the bird but then um she was like she told me to record a video and I was like, I can't record a video because I'm not going to be able to hold on to you. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, no. And she was like, I want a video. And I was like, okay, well, I'll drive it. And she was like, okay. So we switched spots and I start driving the bird. And she was like, do not make us fall. And I said, okay, I will not make us fall. Like, I got this. Like, we're going to be good. I'm driving the bird. Da, 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 da. She has her video. I'm going to put the video here. This is literally probably like two seconds. Before, like, not two seconds. Like two minutes before we fell off. So... I'm, I'm driving the bird da, 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 and I'm already like kind of wobbly because if you know me like the people that know me know that I'm super clumsy so like I was already like this or whatever so this electrical box on the side of us on the left of us and like literally it's not even anywhere close to the pathway that we're riding like at all it's not close to it it's literally like over here but i was like so focused you ever like are so focused on not doing something that you do it so literally i'm like this and i'm like so focused i'm like i'm not gonna hit that i'm not gonna hit that i'm not gonna hit that and i like i'm like focused like please don't let me hit that like this and then it goes and i end up hitting i literally not hitting it but like i like end up crashing and then running into it like kind of like on the corner this was honestly like the funniest thing in life but i could not laugh because my foot was hurting literally so bad like as soon as we fell i don't i don't like even now i don't know how i fell on it i don't like i don't i don't know how i fell on it as soon as i fell i was like oh my god my foot and i started holding it and i was just like my foot my foot and deja was just laughing because she was like oh my gosh it's funny because it was funny but like i couldn't laugh because it literally was hurting so bad so deja's laughing and i'm like oh my god my foot da, 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 da. then 
Um, okay, on our way from McDonald's, I put Deja's burger in the side of my purse because she was gonna eat it later. But then when I, whenever I fell, oh my God, it's this man watching me record this video. When I fell, the burger had fell out of my purse. So then Deja saw it and she literally was like, my burger. <laughs> And then she was mad a little bit, like she was irritated. Literally like two minutes from my hospital, literally my foot was hurting so bad, I was like, no, I, I can't walk, like, no. And then she was like, it's literally right there. And I was like, no, like get an Uber, like I don't care how much it costs, like I really wanna go, like I cannot walk, like I want an Uber, da 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 da. So we get an Uber or whatever, and literally I'm still tripping by my foot, like I'm holding it like this, and I'm just like, in an Uber, like, I'm like crying, but I'm not like bawling. I'm like, oh my God, my foot, my foot, my foot, like, you know? And then we get out the Uber, and this is when I try walking walking on my foot. I tried walking on it is when I really started crying. Like, when I say I was crying so hard, I was like bawling. I was just like, <sighs> like limping and just like trying to walk on it. And it just hurt so bad. Like, I wish I could explain the pain. Like, it really hurt. In my room, put some ice on it, elevated a little bit. I'm still crying about it. I asked my friends and stuff, what should I do about it? They keep saying like, go to the hospital. I'm like, no, like it's too late. And they're like, no, it's not. Like, so I ended up just sleeping it off. And this is a picture of what my foot looked like before I went to sleep. Oh. So this is what it looked like before I went to sleep. Then I wake up, I look at my foot, it's even more swollen. This is a video of what it looked like when I woke up the next morning. Like as you can see, like it's it got even bigger. So I tried to I tried I took some Tylenol, tried to walk on it again. It hurt just the same amount. Like I started crying again. Like literally putting pressure on it hurt so bad. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the doctor. Went to the doctor and y'all, my foot got like when I say it literally got so big. Like it literally was like I'm gonna show y'all a picture right here. It's literally like no, like my foot did not have a shape. Like it was literally like a little what's a cankle went to the doctor they put me in a little wheelchair thing i go get an x-ray then the doctor comes back and he tells me he says your foot is broken and i was like wow i have a broken foot in another country four thousand miles away from my house he was saying I have to push I have to give myself a shot in my stomach every single day until I see a specialist. I got a CT scan just to see like if there were any other bones broken. And then um yeah, so then they released me, they told me to go see a specialist in a week, gave me the prescription for the shot I have to put in my stomach. And yeah, so I mean, it's crazy how it happened. Like, I would never expect to break my foot. Like, I thought I literally thought my foot was sprained, and it's literally broken. Not only just having a broken foot, it's the fact that I'm abroad and so far away from home, like my friends and my family too. So it's like hard. Like, I have my roommates, and they're so helpful. But it's also like, oh my gosh, like this is happening. Like, I can't believe this. Like, this is really crazy. I could, I would never imagine this. I broke my foot on a scooter in Spain. I plan on taking you guys with me, like as. I go through this journey. I did not expect it to go this way, but I'm trying to be as positive as possible because there's nothing I can do about it now, but just adjust. It's not gonna be easy, I know, but I'm gonna stay as positive as possible. And I appreciate those of you that DM me and checked on me and asked me if I was okay and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm actually on the way to my first appointment with the specialist after this. So be sure to watch the very next video on how this session, how this appointment goes. Be sure to stay tuned for other videos. Follow me on social media at Nobody But Naya. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.